Good morning, good morning, good morning! Welcome back to Children's Church. I'm so glad to have you here with me. And all this month we've been talking about faith. That's right. Great job. Today's story of faith is in the book of Matthew, chapter 14. We're going to jump in at verse 22. Immediately, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go ahead of him to the other side while he dismissed the crowds. After dismissing the crowds, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone, but the boat was over, already over a mile from land, battered by waves, because the wind was against them. Around three in the morning, he came toward them, walking on the sea. When the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. Immediately, Jesus spoke to them, have courage, it is I, do not be afraid. That's a common line in the Bible, but we usually hear it from angels. Lord, if it's you, Peter answered him, command me to come to you on the water. Come, Jesus said. And climbing out of the boat, Peter started walking on the water and came toward Jesus. But when he saw the strength of the wind, he was afraid, and beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught hold of him and said to him, You of little faith, why did you doubt? When they got into the boat, the wind ceased. Then those in the boat worshipped him and said, Truly, you are the Son of God. Not a terribly long story, but it's a very often told one. And I think that's for a few reasons. Number one, people walking on water is really cool. I don't know if you <laughs> caught that, but that's pretty unusual. Number two, it's a really big lesson on faith and where we should set our attention. Sometimes things in our lives take a lot of faith and a lot of focus. When Peter had his eyes set on Jesus, he walked on the water. But when he looked down at the water and up at the wind, he sunk. Which means it's a lesson for us in faith and focus because Jesus chastises him or his lack of faith. You of little faith, why did you doubt? You were already walking on water. Why did you start doubting then? And it's because his eyes weren't where they were meant to be. If he kept his eyes on Jesus instead of looking around, he probably would have kept walking on the water. I can't say that for sure. It's a history, and anyone can say, oh, what would have happened? It's what I think would have happened, though. How's that? This is Miss Mandy's opinion. This story is referenced so often because it's a fantastic, miraculous experience. And I think it's one of Jesus' best told parables. Because he speaks so very little during it. Actions speak louder than words. He didn't need to tell them a story to make them understand that this was a miracle of God. They understood it because they understood that people can't normally walk on water. And they were afraid. Peter was the only one who wasn't as afraid. He said, Lord, if it's you, call to me. Tell me to come to you. And when Jesus called, he heard his voice. He knew his voice and he went out on the water. It wasn't until he looked away and became afraid that he sank. So what do I want you guys to remember for this week? Sometimes faith also takes focus, and sometimes your focus also takes faith. That's all I want you guys to think about for this week. We'll be back for another lesson on faith next week, and I'll see you guys then.